You can turn your Canon camera into a webcam with just a USB cable like this. But don't use just any USB cable. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I finally found the perfect USB cable for my Canon M50 and how it changed my life. Canon has this free software called the EOS Webcam Utility. And if you use it and connect your camera with the USB cable, you can use your Canon camera as a webcam for video conferencing and for live streaming. When you use it, your camera will show up in your computer just as another webcam and then you can access it in all your applications. I've been using this setup all the way since May when the beta came out and now the final version is also released. In the description below this video, I have a link to the Canon EOS webcam utility. You can download and install it from there. I also have a link to a reversible USB cable. This is the one that changed my life. So let me tell you what I've tried and failed with until I actually found it. The Canon camera that I use as a webcam is the Canon M50. And in order to connect to this camera, you need to have a micro B connector on the USB cable. This micro B connector is there on many other Canon cameras as well, but make sure to check yours before you get one. I had a bunch of these cables with a USB micro B connector lying around, but I was struggling for a long time to find the right cable. The first one that I used was from an old Android phone and it kind of worked for a while, but I was never able to get it really stable and I had to have it rigged up very specifically against my monitor so that it would work. It was only later that I discovered why this is. It's because the cable was physically broken, as you can see here. The next cable that I tried was also from an old Android phone, actually from my OnePlus 5. Now this worked, but the problem with this setup is that the cable is too short. When I have it connected to my keyboard, you see that I have to have it in front of my monitor, which doesn't really look so good. Another choice that I had was to connect it to the USB ports on the side of my monitor. But the problem with this is that then I had to have another USB cable from my monitor to my PC. So it was a little bit too complicated. So even though the cable is a bit short, I have actually used it in some of my videos about hybrid meetings. You may have seen this bright red cable in some of those videos. There, it was just long enough to make it workable on the table. The next cable that I tried has this angled connector and when it's correctly inserted, the cable will stick up as you can see in this photo. And the problem with that is that it kind of blocks the on off switch. So this is also not a great solution. It is long enough for me to use confidently in my hybrid beatings and you may have seen this cable also in some of my other videos. Now we come to the reversible USB cable that changed my life. There's two things that I love about this cable. One is that it's long enough. I keep it permanently connected to my desktop computer and it's long enough to run all the way to the camera. Number two is the fact that it is reversible. All these other cables, they have this D-shaped connector, which means that there's a right way and a wrong way to insert it into the camera. With this reversible connector, however, there is no up or down. You can insert it either way. And it takes away the struggle of always putting it in the wrong way that many of you are familiar with, I'm sure. You can pick up two of these reversible USB cables for under $10 with the link below. And this is actually a really good choice to have two of them because I have one permanently connected to my desktop PC and then I have another one that I use when I take my show on the road for my hybrid meetings. So getting two or maybe even three of these cables is a good idea if you're going to be using your camera in multiple places. This reversible USB cable certainly made me happy. If this video made you happy, please hit the like button. I'm going to jump over to my bonus tip here in just a moment. But if you got some value from this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post new communication tips every Thursday. And here's that bonus tip for you. If you want to do live streaming or video conferencing for longer periods of time, you should get a continuous power supply. The battery in my M50 will only last about two hours, but with a continuous power supply, that can be indefinite. 
Another name for this is a dummy battery or AC adapter kit. I have a link in the description below to one that's going to work for my M50. In your particular case, get a model that works with your camera. If you want to learn more about how to use your Canon M50 as a webcam, check out the video on the screen right now. It's my step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your Canon M50 for live streaming and video conferencing. And in that video, I include a number of caveats and little traps that you should avoid when you set up your system. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.